Hey guys, hello and welcome to this YouTube series. I'm Anisha Gupta and the spotlight this time around is on what are those top companies in the world which already have started using blockchain technology to improve their business matters. Well, just to quickly brush up on what really is blockchain. Remember, it's a system of recording information in a way that makes it difficult or impossible to change, hack or cheat the system is the reason you have major companies already investing, have created different departments, already have started working in sense of blockchain technology. So within blockchain, each data or each chain contains a number of transactions occurring on the blockchain. A record of that transaction is added to every participant's ledger. So there is transparency and you can't hack it. And potential applications can include fund transfers, settling trades, voting and various other issues as well. So it can be about sharing medical information, NFT marketplaces, which really seems to be catching a lot of excitement right now, musical royalty tracking, cross-border payments, real-time IoT operations, and of course, personal identity security as well. So I'll start with some of the companies which clearly have gotten into blockchain and have made a success story out of it. So the top blockchain project, first of all, first of all that comes to mind clearly is MERS. Remember, they are the shipping and logistics giant in Denmark. And it was in 2018 that they launched the blockchain technology of Trade Lens in the month of August in 2018. And since then, it has emerged one of the best blockchain projects in the recent times. Uh, what they have done is they have digitalized the supply chain information and they have onboarded almost 50% of their container ship documentation all over all the world on this blockchain. So they have processed about 1 billion shipments, 12 million documents and nearly 30 million container information in 2020 alone. In 2021, they only have worked further on to this one. So this is one major idea that has seen an emergence and others can perhaps take use of that. The other is Baidu, which is China's uh, most prominent uh, uh, you know, blockchain innovation that they have done. Now, what they do basically is they are a search engine, but they have associated themselves with the fintech venture, Do Man, and this has brought over 20 blockchain solutions together. So in sense of information and in sense of uh, project introduction, this clearly is worth mentioning on number two itself. And then you have Boeing, another big enterprise blockchain that makes entry in the top project ideas. What, block, uh, what Boeing has done is that they have, uh, it serves as a blockchain powered air traffic control system for tracking and communicating with drones. So most important of all has been the, the blockchain name that they have is SkyGrid. It has been successful in achieving the approval of the FAA for offering low altitude authorization to drone pilots. I mean, this is something various countries have been working with for some time, but it has also been enabled because of the blockchain here. Another important thing is that you can have this app on your iPad itself. So it's as easily available and accessible. The other is the uh, major bank, Credit Suisse, and the capabilities of the bank to use Paxo settlement services clearly indicate another promising entry into this top 20 list. So it also is capitalizing on the capabilities of enterprise Ethereum along with uh, Paxos. Much of the work that is done on blockchain is happening on Ethereum because that is what provides you smart contracts, uh, applications that can be written on, and a big use is what uh, Credit Suisse also seems to be doing right now on whether it is about settlement service, uh, settling the US listed stock trades, with the instinet of the block trader Nomura, a lot of stuff and the big names clearly are already into this. And then you have Honeywell. I want to talk about this because it's a renowned industrial conglomerate. It has successfully migrated over 2 million aviation quality documents to the blockchain ledger platform. As I said, there's a lot of work being done and you don't want to be left behind here. So what Honeywell also has done is that there's a complete availability now of the aviation quality documents to its customer base. And it also runs the blockchain powered marketplace called Go Direct Trade. Now this uh, uh, this list has around 4 billion in uh, you, uh, 4 billion users in sense uh, aviation components and it has been successful in attracting over 10,000 users till date and still growing. The other is IBM Corporation. Well, this was one of the first major enterprises to focus on blockchain. It has been taken as an idea, as an example for many times now. So with the IBM blockchain already making news around various circles, IBM now has introduced new digital health pass application. So this uh, organizes in verifying the COVID-19 test 
of an individual alongside their temperature results. So customers such as stadium operators could select their own criteria for using digital health pass application. It can be used in various ways and the information is clearly available. And then you have the ING group. Well, it qualifies as the first bank to adopt blockchain technology. It utilizes blockchain uh, such as Hyperledger, Fabric, Coda, Hyperledger, Indy, Ethereum, and Quorum for leading uh, a group of financial organizations together. So banks, uh, fintech companies, uh, Boeing, shipping companies, you name them, and they already are into this here. And then, of course, you have Microsoft, the world's leading tech giant. Microsoft also is not far behind when it comes to blockchain project ideas. They have partnered with EY for developing one of its applications by leveraging on Ethereum and Forum blockchains. Good uses are, are, being made, are, are being made here, and we have seen pharma companies as well continue to use it to this one. The Novartis uh, is yet another one, and as I said, while, it, while the digital health pass is already on, the pharma companies, uh, will what they will do with blockchain is that it helps them scan the drug packages alongside marking real-time requests to manufacturers for updating information. Patients can also access this information. So the good thing about blockchain clearly has been about everybody being able to use that information. The next one is the IT branch of Samsung, that is Samsung SDS. They have developed various blockchain projects for local hospitals, airports, and governments. So Samsung is capable of making the, more, uh, making the most of the next ledger blockchain platform to mark its presence in the blockchain ecosystem. So as I said, the numbers and the list just continues to grow here. And then we have Swisscom, which is a Switzerland-based telecom giant. It is also one of the prominent players experimenting with the new blockchain project ideas. As of now, they have 11 applications at different stages of development. So they are soon going to be in the market. And they also are uh, one of the significant names here. And they also have invested a huge amount of money to ensuring into the work here. Again, China clearly continues to be on the top of the list. We have Tencent, which is also a significant player in the domain of new blockchain projects. Uh, it's a developer of, uh, it, it, it helps the tax authorities of Shenzhen to issue around 10 million invoices. Furthermore, it also has established ZBank, which offers a unique uh, blockchain platform uh, known as Frisco because or be credible open and source. So whether it is about tax, whether it is about pharma, whether it's about medical, health passes, everything is finding its way on blockchain. Next is Visa itself, and they also talked about using cryptocurrencies on their platform. But as of now, they have many, very many blockchain ideas working with them. The vast network of Visa access points, including around 70 million merchant locations, serves as its foremost strength. So central banks are gradually turning their focus towards minting digital currencies. So Visa is trying to capitalize and has put in money for extensive research and development to be part of this as well. And then moving on, the next one to so this is MetLife, and they're working on a bunch of uh, 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 blockchain ideas themselves. Recently, MetLife's uh, Singapore-based technology research facility, Lumen Lab, released a white paper for the Tana project. Now, this is geared towards parametric insurance, so that was the only thing remaining perhaps in our list, and that seems to be working uh, quite strongly as well. And then a name that all of us have heard is Walmart. The discussions on blockchain project ideas could never miss out on the food traceability initiative, of Walmart. So what they are doing, they're also putting in blockchain. They are, it has a capability of tracking almost 500 different items, such as leafy vegetables, meat, seafood, coffee, cheese, you name it. And blockchain is, blockchain, blockchain is perhaps the answer to it. And then we have BHP as well, being a part of it. It's an Australian mining biggie. You talk copper, you talk iron ore, you talk metals, and you have to talk BHP. So uh, they, it's, it's not new for them. They have been in the space for quite some time. They have been working on this as well. So whether it's about uh, uh, you know, supplying identities, tracking ESG, environment, social, corporate governance, they have it all already on the blockchain. The other one is an oil company, which is Shell. Now they have a project which developed a decentralized digital passport system. It's one of the very few blockchain project ideas that they are planning to work on at this present. And they already have started uh, making inroads with that. The next one is Daimler, which is one of the biggest automotive multinational corporations, and they manufacture luxury cars like most of these brands. Now, collaborating with Circular, which is, uh, and they're working on a blockchain project that will track the CO2 emission in their cobalt supply chain process. So you think of ideas and you have new ones coming in with every company that you're talking with right now. So this is uh, yet another one. 
And then you have HSBC, yet another notable players in the financial domain with a vision for futuristic blockchain. They also have talked about, uh, they have done settlement of almost 1.9 million trades with a nominal value of around $1.7 trillion. So clearly, when it comes to safety, security, efficiency of time and money, blockchain perhaps is the way to be. And the last one that I want to talk about is the uh, is, is the luxury brand from Paris. Now, LVMH is uh, leveraging the features of blockchain. They are working. They have developed uh, aura for combating against the counterfeiting of brands such as Bulgari and Louis Vuitton. We all understand the fakes and the second copies and the third copies as well available in the market. So with that, you can be sure there are no fakes around. Everything is on the blockchain technology.